What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next question. And this question right here was actually sent to me by a student, thought it was a pretty cool question, a pretty unique one, so decided to make a video for it. So what we gotta do is we have to create a fifth degree polynomial function f of x in factored form with two or more zeros so that the solution set to the inequality of that polynomial, f of x being greater than zero, is this right here. X is an element of real numbers such that X is greater than five. Now, one thing I wanna mention is this here, it's in set builder notation. Some of you may be using this notation class, some of you may not be. So this could have also been worded as this portion here could have just been the solution is X is greater than five. So we have the inequality here the polynomial, when is the polynomial greater than zero? When x is greater than five, or another way it could have been written is from five to positive infinity, right? So you can adjust this question with whatever format you're using in class. All of these here, they pretty much mean the same thing. So when I first saw this question, my first instinct was to draw it out kind of make a diagram first of this, and then we can create the equation. So we have to make sure that this polynomial is gonna be greater than zero only on this interval when x is greater than five. So that would be over here. And so notice that five actually has to be one of the zeros. So this function has to be greater than zero, meaning all the y values have to be positive, only when x is greater than five. So we know that the function is gonna look like this in that portion. It's just gonna keep increasing like that. It can't turn after five because if it was to turn, what would happen is it would cross the x-axis again and then it would be negative for some kind of portion for some kind of x value that's greater than five. So for all of the x values greater than five, the function has to be positive. So we know that the end of it has to look like this. And because it's a fifth degree polynomial, that means that it's an odd degree polynomial. And we know the end behaviors are either like this or like that. They have opposite end behaviors. So if we know that this portion has to be like this, then we know that this side of the polynomial has to look like that. So when we're creating this, what we have to make sure is that the rest of the polynomial on this side to the left of five, all of it is less than or equal to zero. There's no portion of the polynomial that could be greater than zero. Because if we had a polynomial, let's say like this, this looks like a third degree polynomial, but let's just work with it for now. Let's say this was five and this was like three and this was negative one. Well, when would this polynomial be greater than zero? It would be between negative one and three, this portion, and when x is greater than five. But they're saying that this polynomial can only be greater than zero when x is greater than five. So it could only have this portion. It can't go above the x-axis for any other portion of the polynomial. So how would we make a polynomial, a fifth degree polynomial, so that doesn't happen? Well, notice it's going to have to increase and it has to have two or more zeros. So it's going to, so we have a zero at five here, but it's going to have to have at least another zero. So it's going to have to touch the x-axis. So if it touches the x-axis, it's going to have to bounce off it to keep everything less than or equal to zero, right? You can't go through the axis. So if we bounce it, let's say over here, let's say this is like negative one, it can maybe look like this. And when I first draw this initially, let's make that bounce more pronounced. So when I draw this initially here, kind of looks like a third degree polynomial, but what we can do actually is we can, here we know it's gonna be x plus one, and we know that this uh, order here is gonna be even. When it has an even order, it's gonna bounce off. And so to make it a fifth degree polynomial, we can make it an order of four here. 
and then we'd have that other zero, x minus five. And then this here is actually a solution to this problem. This is one of the solutions. Notice how there's two zeros, negative one and five, and it has a degree of five, it has a degree of four for this factor here and has a degree of one for this factor here. So when you add them up, it's five. And so that's a potential answer right there, it has two zeros. And if you want to, you can actually make, it says uh, two or more zeros. So maybe another way you can do this, another example would be, okay, we know it's gonna be here. It could bounce twice, so it can maybe bounce here. It could bounce there and then go like that. So let's say this is maybe at like negative two. Let's say this is at positive one. And let's say these have orders of two, so we could say f of x equals um, x plus two, x minus one, these are squared, right? They're bouncing, and then we got x minus five, which means it's an order of one, so it's gonna go through. So that's another potential solution. So notice this one has three zeros, which is allowed because it says two or more zeros. This one has three zeros, negative two, positive one, and five. Uh, and it's a fifth degree. So that's another possible solution. And then over here, you could actually put, uh, so there's an infinite amount of ways you could do this. You could actually put a number here in front, a constant, which would actually stretch this or compress it. Uh, vertically, you just have to make sure that this number here is going to be positive because if this number here that you put is negative, then everything's going to be flipped and then it's going to screw up this whole thing. Then this portion is going to go down. It's going to be below zero. We need to have this above zero. So we need to have a positive number here. So you could put like a three, for example, or a positive four or anything from any number that's positive, that's greater than zero, right? So multiple ways that you can do this. You could even generalize this too. You can say we can have a polynomial, let's say A, and then we'll have X minus M squared, X minus N squared, and then X minus five. And the restrictions on these would be A has to be greater than zero, has to be positive, the m and the n have to be less than five. The m has to be less than five, and then the n has to be less than five. Right, so this would be a general solution. Maybe if they ask you to make like a general formula for this to work. If you notice that we have these two intercepts here, as long as that m you put in is less than five, so let's say we put in like four, and three here, then the two bounces would be at three and four, and then it would uh, go through five. And then you could put any value here you want, any constant, as long as that constant is positive, it's gonna keep this, uh, it's gonna keep those end behaviors um, in these quadrants, in the third quadrant, and then the first quadrant, right? So infinite solutions, but uh, yeah, pretty cool, unique question. When you get something like this, I recommend first drawing it out, making sense of it in the drawing before making the function.